Hello and welcome to ChiefTutor.com training videos and Chief Architect. Okay, in this video we'll be discussing uh, what is the quickest and easiest way to put on those board and batten type looking homes or the lap siding uh, that you see on some homes. So right now my house is built here in stucco so I want to change it to wood. Now there's a couple of ways we can do this. Um, first of all we could select all the walls and we can change them to the board and batten look. Uh, through the texture, but that doesn't quite cover it well in the ray trace look. So what I'm doing is I'm selecting each of the exterior walls. I'm holding down shift so I can select them all. I'm going to open them all up and go into the, my wall types. And my stucco 4, I'm going to click here and I'm going to go to something more like siding. Let's see. Uh, I know they have one here. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Siding 4 right here. And go with this guy right here and if I hit the define tab it'll show me what type of sidings on it and let's go ahead and just take a look so here's our siding now of course the attic walls are still stucco so I could just click them and delete them and they will regen as siding which is great and maybe get this last one over here yeah yeah okay there we go. But the problem is the board and batten obviously running vertical up and down, not horizontal here. So I could switch it with the rainbow tool to that direction up and down. Um, but what most likely I'd want to do is I'm going to select one of the walls, open them up, and in the siding where we were before on the define, let's go ahead and pick something else from the library. So I'm going to click on library and then I'm going to Is your computer as slow as mine? Oh, I think so. Okay, so let's look for something more like, instead of the lapping, which is all going one way, which you could reverse the direction, but I'm just going to look for something else, like beadboard. There we go. Maybe brown beadboard. Let's do something like that. And this is okay for solving instantly the look for what you want, like that board and batten look. So it clicks in and it applies it to the siding. I click OK and now all my siding will be that color. And of course it's pretty tight so I could go to the rainbow tool and just increase everything. Like in the texture tab where it's 20 by 20, why not go 150 by 150. And then even in the general tab I can increase the 2.5 to maybe 60 or something. Click OK and there we go. So that's one way to do it and this is a texture change only. When you do a ray trace on this you don't see a detail in that uh, texture. You just see the dark marks that the texture is leaving you. So it's not exactly correct. It doesn't perform a shadow but it's the quick and fast and easy way to put the board and batting on the house. Now I'm going to show you how to actually put the board and batting on the house so when you ray trace it looks much much better. So let's go do that. I'm going to exit out of this ray trace. And what I want to do so I don't get these lines confused with where I'm going to put my board and battens, I need to change the siding one more time. So I'm going to select the wall again, hit tab on my keyboard to get that specific wall. So like if I select this, it's actually grabbing the house. So I just want that one wall. So after hitting it with my mouse, I'm going to tab with the keyboard which selects the door or the wall, excuse me. Click open and go to the defining tab and this time I'm gonna go after a solid wood color with no change in the texture so I'm gonna go back to sleep hey look it popped right up okay let's uh, go to wood double click that and let's uh, thumb through here and try to find a good one here's a good one yeah yeah let's try that one click OK click OK and now it's all just solid wood that's great now let's get these battens on here as quick as possible. So the best way I found to do is I use the elevation tool and I'm just going to run across the front of the house. Then I'm going to zoom into this area and I'm going to use my polyline solid tool or my primitive tool. I'm going to select it and I'm going to go ahead and make one of the boards. I'll make it go all the way up. And then I'm going to simply select the color and apply. Now here's where you want to modify this batten wood to whatever size you exactly need. If you open up you can change the thickness. In our case I'm going to change it to 2 um, just for purposes of, of the ray trace. It really stands out at 2 I think. 3 would be even better but anyways we're going to leave it at 2. 
click OK. So there it is, and I've got the right width on it. So it's a two by two by six almost, or two by five and a quarter there, but that's close enough. And now what I need to do is make many to go across. So first I want to make sure it's on my house. And if I exit out, go back to the 2D view, I can see it right there. It's on my house, which is great. So we're going to go back with our elevation tool, go straight up against there. And I'm going to grab this guy one time, click on it one time. I'm going to go over here to my multiple copy. This multiple copy tool is very helpful. I'm going to click it one time with the left mouse button and then come up here and click on multiple copy intervals so you can change the intervals. And instead of 48 because it's set general objects and this would be a general object, I'm going to set it to 24 inches, let's say. So it's 24 inches off center on it. So click OK. And of course you can set that to exactly how you're going to build it. And then once it's OK, it gives you back to the plan with it still highlighted. And you'll notice your cursor when it moves over the center mark, it gives you that multiple copy icon. So I'm going to scroll out a bit. I'm going to grab this multiply holding down left mouse button. I just drag straight across my plan. And I'm going to stop right there. Now you notice it generated straight across. And here you can't see them because it's actually inside the house. See, it's in the window. But that's OK. This is still the quickest way I've found to do this. So we exit out and we see here's all of our batten boards, which is great. So I'm going to now holding down shift I'm going to drag over these ones right here and I'm going to grab handle and just push it up against the house again I'm going to do the same thing here just grab them like that be careful not to select the wall see how the wall selected here so I'm going to hold down shift and hit the wall and it will continue to select these and unselect whatever I touched and of course I'm going to bring them out and just push them right back against the wall okay and then you just follow the steps for the sides as well same concept and you can even use the piece that you started with. I can grab one, click OK, and I can go sideways with it and throw it up against here. And then again, I can take my elevation tool, run it like this. And again, by selecting it, I can simply go back to the multiple copy and I don't have to set the properties anymore because it'll remember the last setting. And I just drag out and it creates me some more. We'll also notice that it drew it right through the windows and doors. So we will have to do some editing in order to make this look right. But it's not that bad. If I select this, I can bring it up. And select this and bring it up. And select this and ad nauseum. Just kind of go through like this. And it might be a little extra step that maybe you don't want to take, but trust me, if you're going to do ray traces or show your client the house when it's all done, or even the builder, it really is the best way to do it. It's much more exact than trying to the texture. Because remember, textures have to wrap. So at a certain point, those two lines showing the batten area might be confused and might not have the right location. Here's one that end up kind of interestingly on the garage door. So what we could do is we could custom make it. I can get in this close. I can use my cut tool and cut it right there and then bring it down. I have to zoom back in because I wasn't sure how far down. Try to zoom out and then zoom back in. Bring it all the way down. There we go. Another thing we're going to want to pay attention to is the thickness of the casing. So let's take a look at this in the 3D view. I'm going to look this way. And I can see that the board and batten is sticking out past the casing. So I need to make the casing thicker. Now if you double click this and go into the casing, this is really the width and the reveal, it doesn't really give you the ability to do a thick casing. So we want to build our own real quick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build my own. I'm going to just take my CAD tool and I'm going to draw out here. And again, remembering that this is two inches, I'm going to have to go a little bit beyond that. So here's my three. There's my two. So I'm just going to go maybe two and a half. And then I'm going to bring this down to say three inches or so. There's six, there's five, there's four. I'll leave it at four. Okay, now I'm going to simply add it to library. And I'm going to add it as, uh, let's see here, I'm going to rename this 
333P. I don't know, just some crazy number. And the reason why I do that is because I can find it easily after building it. So now I could just, uh, well, I'll just leave it the way it is. Go to my camera view, go in like this, click on my door, click open the door, go to casing. And in my casing, I'm going to go to my library. And I'm just going to type in 333. And it should find the one I built. OK. And OK. And here it pops it out a little thicker. See that? So it does go around and completely covers. And I can use that 333 now on all things, on all the windows and the doors. Kind of solve all the problems. So let's just continue to go here. And we're in the elevation view now. So I'm going to zoom up to say the door. Looks like that one needs to be corrected. I'm going to zoom way in and get accurate right there. While I'm at the door here, I'm going to double click that, go to casing, go to library, type in my 333, special combination, click OK. I can even change now the width uh, of the reveal as well, so of the casing. And look at that one, it went right through. So I don't technically even need to cut it because it went right through the batten molding, which is great. Uh, so on this window one, we'll have to cut it. Now this one's a little tricky too because one, there's got to be a board above the window and below it, but we only have one piece of molding. So the easiest way to do this and to line it up is get your pieces on the top done or the bottom, doesn't matter, just pick one side or the other. And I'm trying to hold down control here, get right in there. Okay, now I'm going to select these two, holding down shift, I select them both. And I'm going to choose this, copy and paste in place. So it gives me two more. And being really careful, I'm just going to drag straight down. And grab this, and move him down. Grab that, move him down. And then double click my window, casing. You got it. Same old story. We can also apply this as the default so we don't have to go around one at a time and changing all these windows and doors. We just change that as the default. Those are my singing talents. Do you like that? Yeah, I like it too. All right, all right. So there we go. Nice board and batten type look. And this side's a little uh, messed up right now, so I'm, I'm just going to delete it for now just so we can kind of get a feel for what it looks like in the ray trace because this is basically all you need to do to create that perfect board and batten look or siding lap siding for the side of your house because now when you ray trace something like this it'll come in much cleaner in fact uh, we can add a bunch of lights or I could just manipulate the lights let's do that let's manipulate let's get this thing up to like 90 nice and bright but you can see now clearly the board and batten being pulled off and looking much better than the siding because it's it's more dramatically correct on those ray traces now so i hope you learned something new and uh join me again next week when i do a video about whatever i do a video about all right all right <laughs> thanks guys i appreciate it and i'll talk to you again soon